Hi there. Now here we've got a question based on set notation and probability. So if you'd like to have a go at parts A and B here and haven't had a chance to try it, just give you a moment to pause the video and when you come back I'll take you slowly through the methods and work solution. Okay, welcome back then if you had a go. So for the first one then, we've got to work out the probability of A. And in order to do this, I think that it would be quite a good idea just to draw a Venn diagram to illustrate the information we're given. So a typical Venn diagram for this that I would draw would be, say, a rectangle, which represents everything. So we know that all the probabilities within this would add up to 1. And we've got two sets, A and B, and in general, they would overlap. So let's just look at the general case. So we'll call that A and that set B. Now, what do we know? Well, we're told that A complement, okay, A complement intersected with B, that's everything not in A, but also in B, is equal to 0.22. So that's this region in here, okay? It's not in A, but it's in B. So this is 0.22. And for this one, the probability of not being in A and not being in B is 0.18. And that's the region outside here. You're not in A and at the same time not in B. So that's 0.18. Now, if we're working out the probability of A, all of this set here, then I know that all of this region plus the 0.22 plus the 0.18 must come to 1. So therefore this will be 1 minus all of 0.22 plus 0.18. And if you work that out, what you get is 0.6. Okay? Now for part B here, we've got to work out the probability of A union B. Okay, everything that's in A or B or both. So in other words, it's everything in here, in the intersection of A and B, and in here. Everything in A or B or both. So it's got to be all of what you see in A, which we worked out is 0.6, plus the 0.22. So this is going to be equal to 0.6 plus 0.22. And that comes to 0.6. 82. Okay? Another way you could do this, A union B, is just to do 1 minus 0.18. Okay? And that would give you everything within A union B. Okay, so I hope that's giving you some idea anyway how to go about that. 